Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. In this episode, we are starting off on Wednesday, the 3rd of winter. Um, and our steel watering can is ready. Yay! And it's Linus's birthday. Uh, so we're going to try and swing by and see him, give him a... Uh, cactus fruit because he loves cactus fruit and I think we've got one stashed in our foraging chest. It's a good luck day so I was kind of thinking about going fishing but that may change my plans. Um, what am I doing here? Okay we got another jade going. Got three coal out of the thing. Uh, I was gonna go fishing, but I think we might go mining instead and keep trying to get that darn ancient seed, even though I really need some iron. But anyway, um, how much money do I have? bunch. So, we are actually going to take five gold, pick up our watering can, and then we will hand it right back to him and say, make this better. And that'll be the last of our tool upgrades for a while, because we need a ton of iridium to be able to upgrade any further. Alright, so I think that's the plan. I don't have any food. Though... That might be something that I need. Okay, cactus root for minus. What can I take to eat? Uh, whoa. Whoa! Holy crap. Purple mushrooms are the bomb. Uh, let's, there's got to be something that I have over here in bunches, right? Surely I have like a thousand. Here, we're going to take spring onions. I don't need them for anything else. Uh, anyway, alright, so the plan is, look, I'm over 500,000 in total earnings. Yay, halfway to a million dollars. Uh, so we gotta see we gotta see Linus. Uh, we also want to try and go to Robin's while we're up there, and we are gonna bring three hundred stone and five hundred and fifty wood, and we are gonna upgrade this shed again. It's 20,000 bucks plus those two resources that I just rattled off there. Uh, and then the only other thing that I kind of have on the to-do list today is to swing by... Um, I don't have a watering can to uh, give Cooper any water. But I'm going to try and swing by Marnie's and get another heater. How's our uh, greenhouse coming along here? Anything... We have some rare seeds planted in here, don't we? I feel like we planted a few extras up there. But nothing else going on in there for the time being. So. Uh, Alright. So now we know the plans. We can do some duck mayo here. Because I got a duck egg. And, man, I really hope we get a rabbit's foot from bugs. What are the, what, how bad would it be if I miss the, the community center in the first year because I don't have, um, a rabbit's foot when I've been, you know, talking about, uh, needing freaking red cabbage. Whoa. Yeah, I know Leonardo doesn't produce wool. I thought I had my milk. So. Um. Anywho. Keep talking about needing that red cabbage, but we might not get us a. Uh, I don't think this is ready. Yeah, no wool right now. And boom, boom. All right, 
now we can move on about our day here. No, don't drink the large milk. Just get on Sea Biscuit. I suppose I could be leaving that gate open now that it's winter and I'm not letting the animals out of the bin anyway, or out of the barn and coop. Anyway, um, all right, so Barney's for a heater, and then we're heading up. Oh, come on with this. Uh, we're going to just wait. We'll go look for, like, a uh, holly berry or something. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, crystal fruit. Alright. So that was productive. <coughs> so. Now we're gonna buy a heater. What are they? A thousand bucks? I believe they are a thousand dollars. Ooh, that auto grabber. It's tempting. 2000 bucks for a heater. I could afford the two auto grabbers and the shed, but I wouldn't be able to afford my watering can upgrade yet. So we'll wait for that. But that's coming. That is going to happen soon. I'm going to buy those auto grabbers, and then I won't need to carry around my milk pail or the shears anymore, because it'll just have all that stuff sitting in the bin waiting for me when I get to the barn and coop, respectively. So, that saves you some time, and it just gets old having to milk seven cows and goats and whatever every single day. So, alright, now, upgrade, wait, I don't have any geodes, do I? Oh, I do. Got three geodes to crack. Pretty sure I already have that. Yep. I know I already have that because now I have two of them. And five copper. Upgrade tools. Bam. Okay. We have no more tool upgrades to take care of, or to, to work on for a while. And we've got a lot of stuff in our inventory. I was going to take the mine. Yeah, let's take the mine cards. To. Let's go to the bus stop, go drop some stuff off, and then come back to the bus stop and take the mine carts to the mines, go to Robin's, you guys are coming with me. <clears throat> go in there, you go in there, you go in there. Uh, just crystal fruit, crystal, my two gold crystal fruits are going to go in there. We'll take the other ones and sell them. And where am I keeping jelly? Blackberry jelly. It's gooey, it says. Alright, I don't need it. I don't think I need anything else out of this uh, mess that we got going on here, right? I do. Re I need to remember at some point to save goat milk. Alright, so we're going to put... doesn't matter where these go for right now. I don't want to put anything in them because I want to move them after I upgrade my shed. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so... Sell, 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 and sell. Alright, going to the mines. We'll slip out, hit Linus with the cactus fruit, hit Robin with the shed upgrade request, and then go back to the mines and try and get ancient seed. This is, I, I gotta tell you all this. So, I was on the road the last day or two. I went to see my brother. And just in some spare time, I, I played a couple of days of this on my phone. And I started a new playthrough. By the tenth day, I had three ancient seeds. <laughs> 
It it was ridiculous. I got one the first day I was in the mines, and then I you know I took it to the museum and gave it to Gunther, and then you get the recipe for ancient seeds, and you get a, like an ancient seed that you can plant. Ooh, Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. That's not how you smell t spell tomatoes. I said to get fruit. Oh, I remember this one. I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. Doesn't tomatoes have an E? Anyway. No, it doesn't. Gosh, it just looks weird. Anyway. Demetrius is being a smartass. She told him to go get fruit, and he came back with a bucket full of tomatoes. I'm gonna say it's a fruit. Because it is, technically. And I see what they're going for here. And Robin's like, you know what I meant. <sighs> anyway. She's happy about it, for whatever reason. Because maybe, like, that... Either way, he kind of realized, like, yeah, maybe I was being a little bit ridiculous there. Okay, so we need to construct... A big shed. Boom. This is freaking exciting. We went from no shed to having a mega shed in like the, the course of a week. Alright, and now we have we got our heater, we got Linus, his birthday gift. What's that? What's how much does he like us? Holy crap, y'all. That's pretty sweet. Uh we upgraded our shed, and then tomorrow we're gonna I was gonna go fishing. Oh, look at this. Cutscene with Linus. What you doing there, Linus? Just rooting through the bushes looking for berries, or what? I don't think I've ever seen this cutscene. Uh, you know, I... Like, Robin, why are you scared? You've been living next to Linus for how no who God knows how long. What kind of neighbor are you? No thanks. I had great luck foraging today. In winter? What are you foraging for in winter? I'm just pleased that Linus is doing well. I'd like to invite Linus to live on the farm with me? No, we're not doing that. Does he, like, move in with you or something? Thanks, Evan. You had me worried there. I thought you were going to ask me to... Oh! I see what happened there. You've never tried to fix me. You ex you respect my way of life. Alright, that's cool, Linus. That makes me happy. Ooh, he can smell the aroma of ripe berries. I don't know where. Again, because it's winter. Aw, oh, what a sweetheart, says Robin. Okie dokie. Like I said, I've never had that cutscene. But we've been extra nice to Linus during this uh, playthrough. So I guess I can't say that I'm completely surprised that we got that many hearts with him. Do I have anything in here? I've got some... We'll, uh, we'll bring some bread just in case I get tired of having to eat 27 cave carrots. Alright, let's get us an ancient seed, y'all. I will tell you another thing that is going to, it takes a little bit of getting used to switching back and forth between um, Android and PC is on Android, if you click on, you know, a rock, it will assume that you meant to do that with your pickaxe, and it just, you know, swings your pickaxe. You don't have to have your pickaxe selected, where like, man, that's a lot of copper right there, y'all. Which I don't necessarily need, but I won't complain about it. Uh, but anyway, it just kind of auto-selects the tool that you need to do whatever interaction. So, I'm going to have to kind of get used to remembering to select my weapon of choice. Where are all of the monsters? You know, it only figures that when I want monsters, they aren't around. 
And then the ones that are, are freaking slimes. Which I I don't want around, because they're just annoying. Go get this copper, and then head down the ladder. Let's get some freaking bugs. Get that ancient seed. Alright, this area is infested. Are there going to be anything other than slimes? <sighs> well, there's a rock crab thing over here. I think I might have to hit him. Yep. Cherry bomb. Well, this was this has been a bust of a uh, mining run so far. I mean, I really am getting kind of sick of chasing for this ancient seed. I mean, this you know, like I said, this playthrough I was doing on the phone, three ancient seeds in the first ten days. Like I got one, and then. You know, the next time I went mining, I got another one, and then I think I got one in a chest while fishing, maybe? I can't remember. But, driving me nuts, y'all. <sighs> Come on. I haven't seen any of those monsters that can even possibly drop an ancient seed since we've started this run. This is unbelievable. They're, well, actually, no, those, those little black monsters can give you one. Of course, they, they aren't, but they could. So you're telling me there's a chance. Oh, my goodness. I honestly don't know how much longer I'm going to keep trying to do this. But, I mean... Ancient Seed is a big part of my, like, massive money-making plans once we uh, get our Keg Empire going. So, to not have any is extremely disappointing. Oh. Oh. I gotta be getting close to that, uh, that quest. Come on. Ancient Seed. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to talk about, because the only thing on my mind is this freaking ancient seed, and I can't get it. And um, it's making me angry. Like, I'm going to have to stop and go have a drink and take a nap. And, oh, the ladder's already up here. God, I'm an idiot. Running around looking for the ladder, and that was like the first thing I did when I got to that level was expose the ladder. There's another ladder, and we're just going to take it. Alright, let's go get those guys. Ooh, there's a bunch up there. Come on, this could be it. Do it. Nope. Not even bug meat out of that. What is going on? <sighs> Unreal. I'm like I'm honestly debating going into my save file and using the what's it called the Stardew Valley editor I think is the app there's a piece of jade I'll take that there's an editor app where you can edit your save file and just like give yourself whatever you want in your in your backpack and I'm just gonna give myself the ancient seed I'm I, like I'm I'm that I'm close to doing that even if I you know dis you know, like upset my viewer audience it's it's just worth my physical or my me my personal mental well-being hit the guy oh my gosh i don't i don't know what to do i just I'm at my wit's end. How many things do I need to kill? Golly! The only thing that I can think of why this is so difficult for me to find one is that maybe at some point early in the game, I, you know, I hit a bug and he dropped an ancient seed. I didn't see it and left it behind and like maybe that you know you have to find that first one or else 
You just don't get it again? Surely that's not the case, right? <sighs> Let's get out of here. It's 8.20. And now I'm mad that I went mining today instead of fishing because it was completely... <sighs> Wait, not the bus stop. Where's Sea Biscuit? We'll go get Sea Biscuit and bring him home. Maybe stop at uh, the saloon on the way and grab a beer. Oh, I had a long day of mine and I just need a nice cold beverage. Quench my thirst. Wow, a lot of people here on a Wednesday, huh? Hey, what do you need? So Harvey's at the bar, so maybe he is an alcoholic. Oh man. Shane is, is a little bit down in the dumps. Let's buy him a beer and hopefully we cheer him up. Leah saw a rabbit. I'm not moping around, Pam. You're moping around. Emily just said that her and Haley aren't made for such a big house. Well, I got news for you. Pretty soon it's going to be just you in that house. She's going to be living with yours truly. Alright. Let's head to bed. Now, tomorrow, there's nothing on the calendar. And I can pretty much... I'm going to check the trash. I don't know if there's any chance that you can get an ancient seed from the trash. But, like, I, I'm willing to try anything if there's even a remote chance. I swear that I read... The bug drop chance of getting the Ancient Seed is 0.5%. So basically, 1 out of 200, mathematically, should get you the bug drop, the Ancient Seed drop. And I know that I have killed more of those, you know, types of bugs than 200. So, again, that's why I'm kind of at my wit's end. Why do I have... I don't need four amethyst. Uh, I don't need any more topaz. I do need... Nope. I don't need aquamarine. Alright, so tomorrow uh, we're going to... No, you don't go in there. Um, I think I can sell everything else. I don't need any uh, algae, do I? No. Save that rice shoot. Although I probably will never use the rice shoots. Any, you know, I just don't care. I think you can buy rice from Pierre anyway. So if I need it, I'll just buy it. Okay. We're going to go put this heater down. And then we're going to hit the hit, hit the hay. Now, tomorrow we're going to go fishing. And we're going to try and catch a perch, a lingcod, and... Oh, come on. A perch, a lingcod, and... A squid. Ooh, our duck mayo is ready. Let's go ahead and grab it. Why not? Um, those are the only three winter fish that we need to catch, with the exception of there are s s uh, fish that you can only catch at uh, winter. That it's called the night market. It comes down to the beach. Um, so we'll have to go there. I guess I already said hello to Cooper, but instead I just showed him showed him my sword. Whoa, what is this? Oh, yes. Yes! Two things. One, I got another uh, rainbow trout there. And what that witch is doing right there is turning one of my chickens into a void chicken. Which is good because um, they produce void eggs, which you can turn into void mayonnaise. And it's worth more. There was a UFO right there. All kinds of things happening after the sun goes down here, y'all. But yes, that is a, there's a rare chance of that happening. And we got her done. So that's awesome. 
So again, like today's schedule pretty much just consists of trying to catch those fish. Um, it's another good luck day. Figures. But I'm, I'm not going to mine it. You, there's no way I'm doing it two days in a row. Alright, our kegs are ready to move. Linus gave me a recipe for fish tacos. And Guts gave me a recipe for salmon dinner. It's a good day in the mail. Alright, kegs can come with me. Wine can go in there. Our uh, winter seeds are coming along. Look, okay, see, she's working on our keg, or our uh, shed expansion. Now, it really doesn't matter where I put these for right now, because as soon as she's done doing her thing, we're going to rearrange our chests and such to where they're ultimately going to go. So, give me the apple that I need. More wild plums. That's all I've been getting from that stinking bat cave. Nothing going on in here. Is our tree growing? I mean, it doesn't seem... To, when did I plant that thing? It seems like it should be like halfway grown already. But, it is not. Alright, see, look. Uh, I got a void egg here. Now, why don't I see a void chicken? Maybe she just turns one of your eggs into a void egg. And what we're going to do with it is put it into the incubator to grow us a void chicken. So, that's exciting. There's there's a couple of quests that where that comes into play, I feel like, where you need void something or other. Right now it looks like our sheep is ready to give us some wool. Yeah, he's, he's all fluffy and puffy. I should be getting goat's milk. Alright, so on even numbered days, we get goat's milk. So, that's how that works, apparently. I've been kind of, like, trying to keep track of that. Alright, I do need to save large goat's milk, but I want it to be gold quality. So, since this one is not, it's going to go in there. That's going to go in there. And now we're ready to move on about our day. And what did I say? Fishing? Yep, just some fishing today, ladies and gentlemen. Anything I'm saving here? Gold egg. I can save... A gold egg. Bang. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. How do I have five? Do I have five chickens? Oh, yeah, I guess I, um... Well, wait a minute. I have... I just put an egg in there. I still have four left, and I had a void egg. So that's six eggs. Maybe I missed one yesterday. I don't know. Because I swear I only have five chickens. How did I get six eggs? I don't know. Let's go, Seabiscuit. Alright. Uh, I don't remember if I saved wool previously. Although I think you can get gold quality wool. Yeah. I do not need this wool. This trash, regular quality wool. Garbage. Alright, so we are going to go to the Mountain Lake... In fact, <clears throat> let's do this. Poof. And then we're going to head right down here. And it's time to go fish. We're looking for a perch and a lingcod. And I think a lingcod is actually fairly difficult to catch. So we may have our hands full. Holy crap. That might be it right there. Do I have a trap bobber on? I don't think I do. And this could be difficult. I don't have a trap bobber, y'all. Let's do this. <clears throat> as difficult as that thing was to try and catch, that ain't gonna work. 
So we're going to go down to Willie's and buy a couple of trap bobbers. And then we'll go back to the mountain lake. We have until 6 to catch those two fish, so that sh it shouldn't be an issue. Um, and then after 6, you can catch the squid at the ocean. And that is those are the only three that we need to catch during the winter, other than the, the night market, which won't be a problem. Those fish, I, I feel like I, I've never had any trouble catching. So, anyway... <clears throat> Let's, uh, let's do the fun fact of the day. Um, and this one's not super exciting, but it is a fact nonetheless. And it is arguably not very fun, to be honest. But anyway, today's fun fact is that the first movie to ever put out a motion picture soundtrack was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So, there you go. I mean, Snow White was a pretty groundbreaking film in and of itself, but to also have the soundtrack thing as their, you know, another feather in their cap is pretty good. It was the first full-length um, film that was, you know, drawn by hand. So... Oh, come on! What was that? Ooh! Bubbles! Although, bubbles are kind of useless. Like, I don't even know if I want to waste the time to take the bait off of my rod. Alright, so we should be able to catch this guy now with our trap bobber. But he's a shifty little guy. Oh, come on! I suck at fishing, apparently. I can catch this guy, though. I just have to stay focused. Stay still! There we go. Got him. That was a sturgeon?! I swear, I caught that fish way easier. Uh, when, when was that? Summer? I was trying to hit those bubbles, but I cast it too far. Not a big deal. We've got bait, and it kind of makes up the difference. But if you have bait and hit the bubbles, it's like, as soon as the line hits the water, you have a bite. Alright, we can get the fish and the chest here, so let's do it. Come on, give me an ancient seed. Make it happen. Maybe. Cool. Alright, let's try and hit the bubbles. There we go. See that? Like, instantly. Holy crap! That was ridiculous! I don't think anybody could have caught that fish. Alright, I kind of want that chest, but... Okay, that worked out. This might be... Well, I don't know. Stay still. I don't think this is another sturgeon. It seems like it's moving a little bit more deliberately. Instead of just like willy-nilly bouncing around like crazy. But we shall see. Come on, be the link cod. Stay still. Oh my gosh. Alright, what do we got? Another sturgeon. Oh, I forgot about the chest. Dang it. Oh, I'm an idiot. That would help. Duh. Now I'll be catching fish like cray-cray. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. I say that, and then I almost lost this one, too. It's so much easier to catch these fish with this trap bobber, y'all. Like, I probably would have lost him right there if it wasn't for the trap bobber. Bam. Linkod! That's what I'm talking about. Get it, yeah. Ooh, what is this? This might be the perch. Because it's not very hard for me to 
catch ya. Yep. Let's, uh... Let's keep going. We have till 6 o'clock. Um... Because... The squid's not even available till after 6. So we can maybe try and catch two of these buggers. Each. So... And then we can take our time getting down. There's the other link hog. Nice. Are they the same quality? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Now I want another gold perch here. Let's get it. Whoa, man. Ho, ho. Whew. Oh, that was close. Now we got him. This is another sturgeon, I think. Yep. Sturgeon? No, Lincoln. All right, three of them. This might be a perch or maybe another bass. Let's get that chest. What do we have here? Bullhead and an ancient seed. Dang it! Whoa, where are you casting here, dude? Those bubbles have been there for a while. I like it. Ooh, give me the chest. And give me an ancient seed. Don't care about a chub. Yes! You know it! Oh, that makes me so happy. Y'all have no idea. Oh, yes! Finally! Oh, okay. I am quitting right now and going to the town. Uh, where did I leave Sea Biscuit? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Finally. So, what you do, you take it, you donate it, and your reward is an ancient seed that you can plant and the recipe for an ancient seed. Poof. Now, now, I can still find more of the ancient seeds like I just gave him. And then all you do is open up, while you're holding it, you open it up, you craft it, and if you have an ancient seed, you can craft another one. But the easiest way to get um, more, unfortunately, takes a while, which is... Ooh, I can, I, can I get that copper, or that uh, ore right here? Yep. What do we got? Five gold ore. There you go. Alright, now I kind of have some time to kill here. Uh, but we'll just... We'll come down here and do a little bit of fishing. Not a big deal. Um, I honestly... While I'm fishing, maybe I can multitask. And, uh... Look at what's going on tomorrow. Let's see. Bear with me. I don't even know what all fish are available in winter in the ocean. The only one I care about right now is the squid, so... Sorry. Distracted. Red mullet. Uh, tomorrow... is... Yeah, definitely distracted. Traveling cart. And then nothing on Saturday. But... Uh, honestly, I don't even really want to fish right now, because it's going to make this day go longer if I sit here casting and reeling in fish. Ooh, sea cucumber. I think I needed one of those for uh, for my collection, because I used the other one that I had for the um, community potluck. So, I should show you, a lot of people like to fish over this way and cast like out towards this rock. I don't really think it matters, but... Technically, the best place to fish should be, uh, like, out this way. Because you're away from everything, and you're casting, uh, you know, left or right instead of down. But anyway, like, if you cast this way, you're casting towards this, which counts as ground. And you want to be as far away from anything that you can walk on as possible when you're fishing. So, anywho, I guess maybe you could fish off of this end and cast out this way. Why don't we do that? 
when it's six o'clock. Because all we need is the squid. How much space do I have? Not a lot. Ooh, iridium sea, cu sea cucumber, y'all. Now, with that, uh, there goes Willy. With that ancient seed, I want to plant it in the uh, greenhouse as quickly as possible. And I think I will have uh, some crops ready tomorrow. I think there might be some hay or wheat or maybe a parsnip from those random seeds. And as soon as I clear out a spot, I'll put the ancient seed. Oh, wait, catch a squid for Willie. How about that? I didn't even remember that we had that. And that's what we're trying to do. Just as happenstance. So that's cool. All right, six o'clock and we are fishing. And we should be getting like nothing but gold quality and above here. I don't remember how hard it is to catch a squid. Can we get both? Did I get the chest too? Yes, how about that? Perfect and a chest. Not that it really mattered. But, uh... Alright, come on. Give me a squid. Squid me up here. Uh, ooh. Yay, seaweed. I need seaweed. I should have actually been casting... Uh... Well, doesn't matter. I think the best way to get seaweed is to just barely cast at all, just like a real short cast, because I believe that reduces your chances of getting good fish, which means likelihood of getting seaweed goes up. Anyway, another chest. We've been getting a bunch of those today, and I now only have one spot here. So i got to be thinking about what I would throw away if I need to throw anything away, and it's probably the skeletal tail. And then we'll just figure it out. But, that could become a problem. Yeah, unless I get a squid right here, which this does not appear to be. Unless the squid is like one of the easiest fish to catch in the game. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this away now. But if I get another chest, I'm really going to have to worry about what to throw away. Man, I almost hit those bubbles. But you just can't reach them. Tempting you. Teasing you out there. Come on, give me the squid. I don't want to fish anymore. Nope. I'm catching everything except a squid. I might throw away this bread. Actually, you know what? Let's just eat the bread. At least we'll get some use out of it that way. No, don't cast it down, you dummy. So, I, uh, when I was visiting my brother this weekend, we played some golf. And another different freaking fish. This is ridiculous. I'm about to just quit and just go home so that I don't have to throw anything away. I might throw away those spring onions. This is another sardine, I bet. Or another herring. This is getting ridiculous, y'all. This is my last cast, no matter what. Ooh, seaweed. I'll catch one more fish, I should say. Because whatever I catch, it's either going to be the squid or something else that I probably already have. So... Come on! I still haven't gotten a new mouse yet. I wanted to do it Friday, but I got too tied up with other stuff trying to get out of town to go see my brother. But anyway, I went over and we played... What is going on? We went over uh, and, and I played around a golf. And I shot my all-time greatest round. Uh, I shot a 72. And... So that was my best in terms of, like, number of strokes in a round. But it was a par 70. So I was two over, which is also tied for my all-time best. So it was pretty awesome. I don't even care about you. I just want to catch... Well, I guess I did catch a fish there. So I lied about that being my last fish. So anyway, 
I shot a 72, and it was two over par, which is my best in relation to par. So I was kind of excited about that. And I even had a three putt on one hole late in the round. I was even par. Oh, cripes. Uh, what can we get rid of? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw away this trap bobber that only has like two casts left. And keep the hell of it. Whatever. But anyway, I was saying, played very good golf on, uh, on Saturday. I was even with two holes to go, or with three holes to go, and I... I had a three putt. I can't remember exactly how it unfolded, but the three putt is what made me one over, and then I kind of lost focus on the last hole and bogeyed it as well. But it was still, you know, one of the best rounds I've ever played for show. I've had rounds where I feel like I played better under the circumstances, like the, the weather conditions or whatever. So, anyway. Okay. I have a bunch of stuff to deposit here. This is going to be a mess. So, herring. I have one gold one. And now I have two gold ones. Perch can go up there. Lingcod can go up there. Sturgeon, I guess, can go up there. But we'll put the gold one. Give another sardine to the collection. I don't have any red mullet up there, do I? Oh, it's going to be iridium, though. Sea cucumber, I already have an iridium. Now I've got two. I'm okay with that. Do I have any chubs? Gold chub, yeah. Halibut? Gold, we'll add another one. I don't really know why I'm doing that, but whatever. Bullhead. I'm going to swap out for a better one. Alright, so halibut. I already have... I'm going to put the iridium one in there. Lingcod, I already put two in there. Red mullet, I put one up there. That's good. I need a largemouth bass. I have a bullhead. I have a sturgeon, right? Yep. Halibut, we're good. Albacore. We're going to upgrade. And that's that. Now, this chest is going to get my seaweed. And now I have enough for another fish pond. So that's cool. Uh, we'll put... No, I'm not going to put another Nautilus shell in there. Don't need it. All right, so that's it for C items. And now you go in there, you go in there, and how are we doing on, where's my uh, foraging stuff? I probably need a winter chest, honestly, because this is getting full, and some of this stuff really doesn't make sense to be together. But I'm not going to do that until our uh, shed is upgraded. So I think I can sell all of this stuff, except for um, that top row and the ancient seed. Obviously, I do not want to sell the ancient seed. So it's going to go on its own row so that I don't do anything with it. Gosh, would I feel the worst if I sold it. Oh, I left Sea Biscuit somewhere. Sorry, bud. Hope he makes his way home. But that is going to do it for this episode, y'all. So appreciate you watching. Definitely be sure to drop a like if you have not done so already. Hit that subscribe button. Comment below, and we will see you all next time.